In the last video, we set up the scene and got everything in place. Now it's time to bring it to life with lighting, materials and that beautiful depth of field. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, make sure to check it out by clicking the video above. Alright, let's dive straight into it and create a stunning render in Blender. Go to the render tab and change the render engine to cycles and the device to GPU. Now change the editor type to shader editor and switch the display method to viewport shading. As you can see, everything looks grey because the world color is set to grey. So let's change the shader type to world and add an environment texture to the background. It's pink because no image has been assigned yet. So let's fix that. I have assigned an HDRI called Lakeside which I downloaded from Polyheaven. Now our lighting already looks pretty convincing. Next, it's time to assign a water material. Select the water plane, create a new material and rename it water. Change the shader type from world to object. Set the roughness to 0.003 and the IOR to 1.45. Now let's add some micro details to the water surface. Press Shift A and add a noise texture node. And now add a bump node. Connect the factor output of the noise texture to the height input of the bump node. And then connect the bump node to the normal input of the material. The noise appears too large. So let's increase the scale value to 30. To reduce the intensity, lower the bump strength to 0.05. Now go to the transmission setting and set the value to 1. That looks perfect. Next, select the other water plane and assign the same material. Now select the ball and create a new material. Set the base color to red, roughness to 0.113 and IOR to 1.45. The final step is to adjust the transmission value to 0.5. Wow, it's already looking great, right? Finally. Let's add that nice blur to the background. Select the camera and enable depth of field in the camera settings and set sphere as the focus object. To make the background even more blurred, you can set the f-stop value to 0.1. And that's it, we have created a beautiful looking shot that's ready to render. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow and useful. So see you in the next video.